explaining how to log in and set up your profile for the first time in Arbiter Sports. Once you have logged in, you're going to come up to this Carolina Referee Org and log in under the official line here. Once on this page, it's important to note that while you will be able to see information on games that you have been assigned, you cannot take any action on those items, such as accepting or declining those games. The only thing you will be able to do from here is view them. To set up your profile, you're going to come up here to the top and select this profile tab right here. Once on this page, it's important to go through and make sure that this information is all accurate. Make sure your name and email address are correct. If you need to update that email address, for any reason you can do that here. You may also add an additional email address by selecting this green plus button here. You can add a new email address that you would like to receive the information such as game updates, assigned games, or any changes made through the week to your Arbiter games or information sent to you about those games. Once that is in there, you can click Save. And it will update automatically in here. If for any reason you need to remove that email address, all you need to do is come over and select this red X and it will remove that email address. Click Save and it will be updated. Once you have done that, come over to the right hand side here where it says picture. You're going to select, click to add picture or the green plus button and come over here. It's important to note that when you are selecting a picture, it must be a JPEG file for that to work and be uploaded to Arbiter. Again, it must be a JPEG file or that image will not work. Once you have selected it, select Upload. It will show you what that picture is going to look like. Upload the picture. And you can see what your picture is going to look like to other users and assigners in Arbiter. This picture becomes important so that as assigners, we know who we are assigning. We know that you have set your profile up correctly. And your fellow referees, when they are coming out to the field, know who they are looking for. Once that is set up, you're going to come over here to the cell phones. This first number here needs to be your personal cell phone number. If it's not your personal cell phone number, it needs to be the cell phone number of a parent that we can reach you at. This first number will also be the number that your fellow referees will be able to see and send messages to if they need to contact you prior to any of your games. The next phone number can be an additional parent phone number or somebody else that we may need to contact to get information to you about your games. At the very least, it needs to be an emergency contact number. Once that number is in there, for your cell phone number, you're going to select the carrier that you use, whether that's Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, or any other um, cell phone provider that you, that you may use. You'll come over and select um, notes and any notes that you may need to put about this. If this is your phone number, you can put your name in there. If it's an additional phone number, you can put who that number belongs to. And then if you need to add in any other phone numbers, select this green plus button and you can add in any phone number that you would like. You can tell us what type of phone number it is on the other options for the cell phone carrier and then who this select public so that assigners can see it, who this phone number belongs to. Once that is done, click save and that is now added. To remove any phone number, select the red X, confirm it, and that number will be removed. 
Once that is removed, click save and that will be updated. Next is going to be your address. Confirm that your address is correct and update it as needed. This needs to be your mailing address where you will receive mail such as checks for any games that you have worked. Next up is going to be your information pertaining to um, your taxes. This first number that you need to put in is going to be your social security number. Come down to report taxes as, select social security number, and then input your date of birth. Your date of birth is important because it allows us to see how old you are and what matches you will be eligible for based on your age. Once that is all done, You're going to come up to Preferences. Select Preferences, and it's going to take you to this screen here. What this screen is going to do is allow you to select what information you receive to your email as well as through text message to your cell phone. And it's that first cell phone that you put in, the first line. I have all of these selected here so that I will receive notifications when I get a new game, when I have a game coming up, any new event that I might be invited to, any changes to those games, or if I am unassigned from those games. I will get emails as well as text messages when those happen. Select all of these, click Save, it updates, and come back to Information. Once back on this page, take a moment and verify that everything has been saved that you have worked through. And then come over on this left hand side under status and click ready. Once that is checked blue, come over, select save. Any other screens that you want to verify, select save. Come back to information. If you're still checked blue and everything is updated, then it has all saved and your profile is now set up.